So guys, it's time to generate some potential leads from LinkedIn and that too for free. Well guys, I'm going to tell you or basically I'm going to teach you the organic method which you can use in order to generate highest quality leads on LinkedIn, right? So this is going to be a pretty long process, but the quality of leads which you'll get will be insane and the lifelong customers you can create through these leads. So instead of directly going for the paid method, this is the way you can test for your business. And I'm damn sure that if you properly execute or properly apply this method into your business, into your LinkedIn marketing, definitely you will get some high quality leads that will last for tens of years with your business, right? So let's directly jump into the process. But before that, let me give you a small warning that this is the process which takes a bit long time. This is not like the process that will work from the very next day. So you need to keep in mind that this process will take time. And if you are executing this process, definitely by the end of this process, you will have the highest quality leads possible on LinkedIn. Right now, let's directly jump into the process. The first slide, which is here I have already shown you the uh, five step process in order to generate the lead. The first one is position or you can see the po positioning. Then the second uh, step or the point is prospect and then connect, then engage and then convert. So this is the five step process which you need to follow. And this is not any one days or one week's process. It takes a bit more time, maybe sometimes 15 days, sometimes uh, a one month, sometimes more than that as well. Right. So there is no any specific timing that how much time this process will take for you or for your business. But the thing is, in order to generate the highest quality leads, you need to follow this procedure. Right. Now, one more thing you need to keep in mind that you need to practice this procedure, this lead generation procedure. Right. This is not like uh, you will be 100 percent perfect in the very first attempt of yours, but you need to practice this procedure right so let's start with the positioning option first right or the positioning level right so here is the positioning now in the positioning section you need to fix three important areas of yours the first one is whom you serve or whom do you serve so you need to keep in mind that whom i do serve right or you need to find out the target or the uh, potential audience that you might want to serve right then your second thing is your pitch so basically while connecting with different peoples in different areas you need to maintain a variation different variation of pitches right you there's not like one simple pitch which you can send to everyone you need to create different different variations or you need to bring some dynamic uh, changes into your pitches right now the thing is once you find out that who is your target audience or who you might want to serve right because let's say if i take an example that uh, i have a product or i have a service which can be served only uh, served to only a software industry or to software companies so in this case direct software companies or the higher authority who are the uh, decision makers of that particular company will be my target audience right so you need to find out this thing as well that whom you might want to or whom you want to serve. Then you need to work on pitches. You can create some dummy pitches uh, around five to ten different different variation of dummy pitches so that while uh, practicing this process, you don't need to uh, talk about your pitching and all right. So you will have some dummy pitches already ready for you, which you can send to your connections right with uh, while connecting right then the uh, third option is basically the third point is which you need to follow is optimize your LinkedIn profile properly. So I've already uh, created a video where you which you can watch in order to optimize your LinkedIn profile. Also, I have mentioned it very times many times that you need to optimize your LinkedIn profile properly before doing any activity before doing before executing any professional activity, right? So you need to optimize your LinkedIn profile properly before proceeding further now there is one pro tip as well as you can see here i mentioned here that top tip by activating creator mode you can move the featured section under your profile name to showcase project 
to show off your skills and past works yes so you can turn on your creator mode in your account this creator mode is available in every account but by default this is turned off when you create your account so you need to turn this on manually right and when you turn on your creator mode you will get some extra features and obviously you can show off your skills and past works if you have turned on your creator mode right now let me show you that how a creator mode look like looks like so guys as you can see right now i am in my profile this is the demo profile which we have created in this course itself now if i scroll a little bit down here you will be able to see that by default this creator mode in the resources section the creator mode is turned off so you need to click on this and directly you can just uh hit the next button next next and the creator mode will turn off right now i am not turning on this because this is the demo account but i have shown you that how to turn on your creator mode in the resources section so first you need to go to your uh, account right so once you are in your account the creator mode will appear in front of you right and the benefits of this that get discovered showcase content on your profile and get access to creator tools so these are the options you uh, you can access when when you turn on this creator mode so this was the pro tip now guys once your positioning positioning is done the position section or the position option is done it's time to head towards the second option and that is prospect so what does this prospecting means how you can execute the prospecting thing basically in the prospecting section you need to find out potential audience from different different connections profile from different different companies which you might want to follow so what you can do is you can find out potential prospects from those companies from those organizations from those connections of connections like this right so how you can do that you just need to go to the connection section of your account and you need to apply different different filters over there right once you apply those filters you'll be able to see the targeted audience which you have decided in the first section of your task basically of your uh, lead generation process right so let me directly jump into my linkedin account and let me show you how you can do this so guys as you can see right now i'm in my demo profile which we have created now i don't have that much connections in my account but let's try in this account as well so for that you need to go to my network section and in my network section you will be able to see some invitations to connect and if i click on connections here i'll be able to apply search with filter option right if i click on search with filter option these filter options appears in front of me and if i click on all filters tons of options appears right so i've already told you about that how to connect with people how to send invitation even what are the third degree first degree and second degree connections i've already told you about this right so i'm not going to talk about these things again now the thing is uh, you need to apply different different filters in order to find out the best potential connections for your or which can convert later right now it can be first degree connection it can be second degree or it can be third degree connection as well now it is totally up to you whatever you want to select and here then you can uh, use these two options as well you can select the followers of let's say you have any creator in your profile so what you can do is you can select that creator and you can find out a potential audience from their followers as well or if you want to use connections of connections let's say this particular connection have 5000 connections so what you can do is you can use this connections connection in order to find your potential audience so these two import uh, options are very important in order to find out good quality traffic right now then we do have location option then location is basically from where you want to find out the uh, from which location you want to find out the target audience right then people who talk about basically if you want to find the people who talk about copy copywriting or let's say digital marketing so you can search a topic over here basically you can add a topic over here hashtag digital marketing thing right then current company so you can set their current company as well let's say right now by default uh, my marketing pandas and one more 
uh, digital agency is there but what i can do is i can add more companies let's say i want want to find out the potential audience of microsoft so what i can do is i can add a company over here microsoft like this microsoft this is the company oops yes i've selected microsoft let me remove marketing funders from here right so i've selected microsoft i want to find out the employees of microsoft right so that i can connect with them and at the end obviously my target is to convert them right then as like current company you can find out on the basis of past company as well on the basis of school industry language then open to open in open to you have two options only joined a non-profit uh, board or pro bono consulting and voluntary so if they are open to these two options you can search them on the basis of this as well then service categories in service categories social media lead gen consulting marketing digital marketing you can add the services as well and at the end you can search on the basis of keywords like uh, first name last name title company name school name so these are the keywords you can uh, find out let's say i want to find out the name uh, basically on the basis of first name which is max so i'll be able to find out all the max name who is in microsoft because i've selected this one as well right and let me uncheck this otherwise i'll be not able to find because i don't have connections in microsoft right so i've unchecked this box now show results and most probably i'll find found all the maxes who work in microsoft as you can see here right software engineer 2 at microsoft senior software engineer microsoft microsoft micro 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 yes so i hope you got the point now you have to prospect them you have to uh, check their profile whether they are uh, suitable for your business whether they can convert or whether they are the right audience for your business or not once you find out that they are the right audience then you need to proceed to the third uh, step right so i hope you got the point how you can apply different different filters and if i go to my profile i can do the same thing in my profile as well although i do have around 500 uh, connections but still this option works as i told you that you can find out people from companies from brands from organizations or connections of connections or followers as well let's say uh, mr hitesh gupta the founder of marketing pandas is added into my connection so what i can do is i can uh, hit the let me go to connections first so i've clicked on the connection option and if i click on search filter option and if i click on all filters and if i uncheck this box and directly go to the connections of connection option this is right so add a connection hitesh gupta yes so he has around 18000 followers so now i want to uh, see all his followers and who live in delhi and new delhi right and talks about just leave this thing now past company no school so i don't want to apply these filters right now so let's talk about only these filters so service uh leave this thing as well so i have applied two things connections of connection basically i want to find out the people from mr hitesh gupta's connections right and people who live in these two locations and now if i hit the search button it will find me 261 results people who live in delhi new delhi and comes under hitesh mr hitesh gupta's connections right so this is how you can apply different filters from your connection who who is already already a creator so you can leverage those connections in order to find your new connections right so i hope you got the point now let's go to the uh, third step which is engage now it's time to engage you have find out your contacts you have find out the potential audience and there's one more thing that you can perform these thing on a daily basis like on a daily basis you can find out three or four contacts and you can uh, note it down right or what you can do is you can save those contacts because we are not going to directly send a connection request there you need to start engaging with them before sending a connection request you need to 
build a credibility you need to build a trust and basically you need to let them know about your existence right so there's three things you need to follow like you can comment like and share their content so that uh, the engagement is gets built and then the potential audience can notice you right and then you can write a short messages in order to start sometimes a little bit short or small talk kind of thing right but not be irritating or not be spammy right you need to send a short message when it is logical right then the third point is build credibility and trust in the process so basically all in all you need to build credibility and trust so you can apply or you can do whatever you think that will help you to build credibility and trust right so this is totally depends on you and different different industries categories niches right so i'm not going to tell you any specific thing that you need to just only comment on their post no it is not like that so you can do the mix and match thing that if you think that uh, commenting and sharing their post is good and they will notice me so if it is good now once the credibility and the trust builds now it's time to send a connection request because now there's very high chance that your connection request will be accepted but earlier if you didn't go through this process the engagement process there was there was very limited chance or there was very low low chance to accept your connection request right so that's why we have applied this formula the engagement formula in order to get the acceptance from our uh, target audience now i am assuming that your majority of target audience have accepted your connection request now it's time to jump into the fourth step and that is create content on linkedin and get noticed as well so you have noticed themselves and you have helped them to notice yourself by engaging with their content but it's time to create your own content as well right because it will help you draw their put uh, i mean draw their attention towards your content towards your business right even i have mentioned here as well that if you publish helpful content your job is half way done you'll be on your way to generating the kind of leads that turn into lifelong customers yes so after getting accepted or after getting the connections you need to create the content even you can create the content from very first step as well this is not harmful at all you can create the content on a regular basis and even on a social media regularity or the consistency is the key to success on social media right so here we are creating content in order to draw our potential audiences attention whom we have uh, added into our connection list right so once they start engaging with your content or they just notice the content you need to jump into the last process and that is your sales funnel get your prospect to your sales funnel right and how you can bring them into your sales funnel you don't have to directly message them or directly send a sales pitch to them this is not the right way you can start talking with them you can talk about some professional things and at the same time you can try to nurture your relationship right then you can ask for different uh, ways to connect with them like phone number or email address or you can directly ask for a email online meeting where you can showcase your product right and this is the right approach to find a connection make good relationship with them and at the end convert them into your lifelong customers right because if you are asking them for a number or email definitely if you have a good connection or good relationship they will provide you and then you can do your email marketing and like sms marketing and even you can connect on a phone as well and if they are agree with online meeting they there's a high chance that they will 100% think about your product or services because they are totally involved in the meeting right and instead of this if you just directly send them a promotional messages on linkedin they might get irritated and remove you from their connection list right so keep this thing in mind so i hope you got the point 
and you understood the whole process now i'll ask you to practice this process on a regular basis and definitely you will end up having good connections and good customers and clients who will be your lifelong customers right so let's wrap up this video and if you like this video if you like the procedure don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button also share this video and the whole playlist with your friends family who want to learn linkedin marketing and want to create a business around it so with that said let's meet in the next video till then bye bye